Requirements for high quality signal conversion and processing are no less important in IP networks than they were for SDI systems. In a rapidly changing landscape, the ability to repurpose hardware is highly attractive to protect your capex. So I'm here with Danielle to talk about an exciting new application core for the XIP3901 software defined platform for the dust stay modular range. The new application sounds ideal for IP networks. Tell us more, Danielle. Yes, the XIP3901 platform is highly flexible. We like to think of it as a multi-purpose utility tool for broadcast signal processing. It enables a host of options for multiple types of video and audio workflows. The current XIP3901 UC, DC, and FS application for SDI, for instance, have two independent video channels of up, down, cross conversion with frame sync for 4K UHD production. The new XIP3901 UDC IP application is the IP equivalent with dual 25 gigabit Ethernet SFP ports, providing full redundant stream capability and itless switching. This new IP application allows existing owner to reuse the module to migrate from SDI workflows to IP. Furthermore, its IP interfacing is all based on open standards, such as SMT ST2110, ST2059, and NMOS IS0405, and it's fully GTNM tested. The XIP sounds very powerful. As part of a modular system, does it mean it really only applies for large systems? No, not at all, nothing. For small system, you can fit two cards in a density FR1 frame, giving you four UHD video channels in a single rack unit. For larger systems, you can use the density 3 plus FR4 frame, which gives you 24 channels using 12 cards. That's a very dense solution available today in particular for UHD conversion. Further, the modular design minimizes the failure block and enables quick recovery to keep you on the air. That's great. High density, though, often feels like there might be some compromises on performance. Not at all. It's a complete opposite. What really makes the XIP stand out is the performance of the conversion. In a number of recent shootouts against well-known brands, the XIP was acknowledged as the clear winner on picture quality, no compromise. It really is the old package. Let's take a quick tour of the XIP. Let me show you a quick demonstration of the XIP 3901 UDC IP application in a typical live IP production environment as shown here. Our first challenge is to convert a number of live sources of various format to a main production format and color space. The Calido IP multiviewer that we see on the right side shows four different ST2110 source that we have for this demo. And the top left video is the main production format, which is subscribed to the output of an XIP processing channel that we will demonstrate. Note that I have pre-programmed another XIP to convert the additional distribution 1080p HDR and 1080i SDR format derived from the main production format and are shown on the top right section here on the multi-viewer. Now focusing on the main production format, we see the control panel of the XIP which is currently subscribed to our first 720p source. We see the input format reported here. Then we need to change the processing channel output resolution, currently at 720p to 2160p production format. As we program the new video format into the XIP, we see the Calido IP production format is changing. 2160p and the video stream bandwidth indicator increasing to more than 10 gigabit. This is a single stream 2110-20 video generated by the XIP and displayed by the Calido IP. The XIP is also processing 
the 2110-40 metadata. We see the time code here updating and the 2110-30 audio keeping the exact timing synchronization with respect to video. Next, we will specify the colorimetry conversion needed for this HLG production. As we move to the HDR processing control, we see that the XIP supports white color gamut and high dynamic range conversion between SDR, HLG, PQ and SLOG3 with a choice of Grass Valley conversion, the BBC lot and user defined lots. The HDR processor operates in full 10 bit to preserve the highest quality video signal. Now that we have program the output format, the XIP will normalize automatic, automatically any given source format to this common 4K UHD HLG. We can see this as I use the GV Orbit routing panel to change the source to 1080i as we see here and then 1080p. The routing is done through NMOS ISO4, ISO5 uh, that is supported by the XIP. As we change the source, the output remains constant to the preset production format. This concludes our short demonstration of the XIP Terminal 1 UDC IP application. Thank you. So Daniel, how can people find out more about the XIP UDC for IP, including other applications? The XIP Turin on One datasheet and other relevant collateral is available on our website. But I strongly suggest the best way is to book a private demonstration. Then we can really show you all of its benefit. And people who are watching this demo can click on the request a demo button to contact their sales rep to schedule a demo. That's great, Danielle. Thank you very much.